Hi everybody, it is week 8 and I uh, promised to post something on the exam as I kind of went back over it uh, earlier um, this week I realized there's not a whole lot for me to add on this. Um, obviously it's not a typical uh, exam as uh, the others have been with multiple choice and that sort of thing. Uh, you're basically going to be doing another lesson plan. So. Um, it is a supposedly a comprehensive final exam. It is uh, open book in the sense of any of the notes and things that you want and your book and resources that you want to use to help you is fine. But uh, uh, what you're doing is applying everything you've learned so far and then you're condensing it and now let's do this in a, an abbreviated period of time to test how you've done and what you've actually learned. Because how many of you know you guys have been studying all term You've been uh, using a lot of resources and slowly working on, you know, your lesson plan to give it and uh, your preparation. But now your the final exam is essentially you put, getting put in a situation where, you know, it's Saturday and you've got two hours to prepare for a, a Sunday morning lesson. So um, the dynamic is is uh, you've got two hours to um, to do two observations and write the, the lesson plan using all the components uh, that you've learned in the course. Um, let me reference, obviously you have this, but let me reference the, the actual paper there. It says, on Saturday you receive a phone call stating that the senior adult teacher was called out of town and you were asked to teach the class. You agree. The class is a group of senior adults ages 65 and older. Uh, what does that tell you? Okay, so you're not teaching the kids, you're, you're teaching at an adult level. That's all that's emphasizing, right? Uh, the, the average attendance uh, of about 18 uh, people. So the scripture passage is 1 John 4, 1 to 6. You're required to study the passage using the two observations that you learned. So again, you're going you're gonna to find uh, two, two main observations. Uh, and then uh, write a lesson plan. You have 40 minutes to teach the lesson. Uh, again, so again, you're not doing something for 40 minutes. You've got two hours to compose this lesson, but you're you're structuring it based on something that'll take a lesson that when and if you give it would take 40 minutes. Now keep in mind, you're not actually going to give this lesson to anyone. You're just preparing it, and that's what you're turning into me. So the guide below, uh, which is basically just a grading guide, is uh, to assist you as you study and write the lesson. You may use your Bible notes, handouts, and textbook. You will be graded on the following. And so you see how the points are divided down um, below there. So uh, ultimately, uh, I'm not going to kill you on these things in terms of being very nitpicky. However, I am going to mark off for things. And uh, you need to clearly show that you are doing these things. Uh, you know, Again, as I said before with your final lesson plan, um, if you are attempting to do an exegetical idea, but it's you know, but your exegetical idea is more pedagogical, or, you know, that sort of thing, I'm going to give a little flexibility there. But if it's just obvious that you just didn't know what the difference at all was and didn't attempt to be anywhere in the ballpark, you're going to miss some points on stuff like that. Um, you know, you've got the hook book look took stuff, which is a good chunk of this. Um, your choice of observation, uh, which is exercise one, either the who, what, why, or the structural analysis. So you get to choose which observation you're going to do. Um, and then observation two is the obvious forms of expression identified, uh, few, some, most. So um, you're going to be doing both, both observations, right? So on, on the first part, um, you can choose one or the other, the who, what, why, or the structure, structural analysis. That's the exercise one. Then you're going to do an observation exercise two on the obvious forms of expression. Okay, so that's that's actually a, that's 50 points out of the 150 total points. All right, so I'm going to want to see that you put in some good effort there. Um, now, like I said, I'm giving you two hours to complete this. Uh, I will actually give you um, closer to two and a half and even three hours to do this if you need it. Okay. So I'm being very gracious to you. What I don't want is that you spend, you know, 10 hours on this because that's just not fair. The, the whole concept is that now that you've studied this, uh, this
this term. You are now able to put this stuff together and actually um, do it on like a need basis. So that's the idea this week. If you have any questions, uh, please email me or Facebook message me. And uh, I hope you have fun. This, again, is meant to be fun. Be creative in, in some of your examples and things that you do. And uh, remember that you don't actually have to give this lesson, uh, but that what we're aiming for is that you are learning how to do good lesson preparation. So enjoy it, and uh, I'm here if you need me. All right, bye.